everyone, Tiffany Rogers here. Today, I've got some stories I'm really excited to share with you about how God is working through us in our community, but also how God is changing us from the inside out. First, Chris is gonna talk to us about our fall small group semester that just finished up. Then we'll sit down with Jason and hear about another one of our compassion offering initiatives taking place right here in our own backyard. So let's go. Well, this past weekend, we just finished off our fall semester of small groups, and what an amazing semester we had. We had all kinds of different groups. We had sports groups, we had outreach groups, groups who did different curriculums. One of the coolest things we got to do this last fall, though, was to actually release, launch our brand new and very own curriculum called Real Jesus. I got to sit down with Lee, our executive pastor of discipleship, and talk all about it. Our mission is to introduce people to the real Jesus. And a lot of people have the question, what does that mean? Like, I think I know Jesus. And so we sat down to develop this flagship curriculum to answer that very question. The response we got was more than we bargained for, quite honestly. We were hoping to have maybe a thousand people go through this, and we didn't get a thousand people interested in the real Jesus curriculum. We got way more than that. We had over 238 Real Jesus small groups with over 1,800 people represented. So we're blown away by this, not just the response of our people, but that so many would be willing to go on this journey together as a church to discover what we mean by meeting the real Jesus. For 10 weeks, we explored what it means to be a Christian. We, we wrestled with what the life of a Christ follower should look like. And, and we were stretched to look at Jesus and look at scripture in maybe ways we hadn't before. The whole thing culminates in what we called the Real Jesus Weekend. That was a gathering here at Central Campus where all of our campuses came together, all the groups that had gone through the Real Jesus curriculum. And it was an incredible time of people finding freedom, finding healing, laying down burdens and weights and chains that they had carried for some of them decades long in order to be able to walk out in freedom. I had the honor of being a part of this weekend. I just have to say, like the way we prayed for each other, the way that we worshiped together, the way that we carried each other's burdens, it was just beautiful. In a church our size, we don't always have great opportunities to feel like a close-knit family. That's what this weekend was about. And I think it might change things forever. It's really hard to pack everything that God did this past semester into like a little two minute video. Really, you have to just experience it. So if you missed this past semester, no worries. Get on the group finder in early January when it opens up and go be a part of a group. Don't miss out, go do it. This next story takes us somewhere many of you have heard of. In the heart of North Tulsa, there's a place called John 316 Mission. And Church on the Move has been invested in making a difference in the lives of young people in this part of our city for decades. John 316 is known by many in the surrounding area as a beacon of light and hope. And their goal is simple. The mission of John 316 is to meet the community where they are. This place right here, uh, the Family Youth Center that we're in, is a safe haven for a lot of people. We get to just be the light. So they exist to help people right here in Tulsa. And they have this awesome facility called the Youth and Family Center, where kids from the community can gather in a loving and safe environment. For our kids and for our youth, a lot of them, their homes are consistent. One of the biggest things that we provide to our youth in the community is consistency. So the center offers some really cool things like classes, after school, and summer programs, but one of the biggest events they put on every week is their youth group on Thursday nights that they call TNT, or Thursday Nights Together. They know every Thursday night, rain, shine, snow, we're gonna be here. The problem is that as long as John 316 has been around, the space where they gather for youth group has hardly ever been renovated. They have the students, they have the passion to serve them, but what they don't have is a proper space to have the biggest event of the week. That's where the 2019 Compassion Offering comes in. We wanna give them $20,000 to renovate their youth facilities. We wanna get them new audio equipment, expand and renovate their space, all to give students in North Tulsa the place of peace and refuge they desperately need. Having Church on the Move partner with John 316 in renovating our center, it really puts forth that idea of the capital C Church. It's that we are all moving the kingdom of God forward. God is doing some amazing things in us and in our community. And the more we know the real Jesus, the more we're able to live out our mission, introducing people to the real Jesus. 